the grapes have arrived here in uh, small little buckets so that they're not crushed or damaged. They were picked very early this morning and they're nice and cool. They've been stored here in the cellar of the caves. Then each bin is individually um, dropped on a sorting belt. Here is the sorting belt where we have the first sorting, the first sorting of the clusters taking out any other, some grapes that have been sun dried, any rotten grapes, any other elements, any leaves, anything else that would not be uh, perfect for the wine. So the first sorting here of the actual clusters. Then the clusters are carried up the um, very gentle gravity flow up to this escalator into a destemmer. The destemmer breaks away the berries from the stem and the stems are brought out here and will be recycled back into the vineyard soil for composting. So 100% destemming here of the of the clusters. These are fine Cabernet grapes grown here in the Napa Valley. Then the berries fall on a very special uh, sorting table. So this is now the second sorting coming up. Um, the berries are on this shaking table. This is to remove any jacks, any tiny little bits of uh, stems which could have been still included after the destemming. There are little holes so that uh, this was a machine that was adapted from blueberry sorting. It falls through. You can still see some tiny little bit of stems that are, are included here, so will then be sorted. So the berries flow out now onto the second sorting table. The second sorting table where we have at least eight ladies. The ladies are always the best at doing this job. They're more attentive. They're going through the berry sorting, berries for berry, taking out any dried fruits, any jacks, any little bits of that we wouldn't want to include. They would give green tannins to the wine. So this is the second sorting table. Very few wineries in the world would have a first sorting table, let alone a second sorting table. And then the berries are taken up by this very gentle conveyor system up into the fermenting tank. Here they're fermenting in um, stainless steel fermenters on this side. There are three different types of fermentation used at this winery. Stainless steel from conic tanks that will put pressure on the cap for long maceration fruit extract. We'll now go into the second cellar where there is a second team. These uh, harvesters that pick the grapes very early at four or five in the morning. This is the second sorting table. And uh, here we're going to go into wooden fermenters or actually barrel fermenting. So here again, the grapes are clusters are unloaded very gently on the first sorting table. We sort the clusters. The clusters are then taken up into the destemmer. Uh, sometimes you can have a crusher attached to this machine, but here we want the whole berries. The stems here are afterwards uh, recycled. So here is the the stemmer with all the stems coming out nice and dry, well lignified. The grapes are in perfect ripeness. Here's the shaker berry sorting machine. Here are the berries after they've been destemmed, rolling out onto the conveyor system where they are sorted individually. But on this, on this, um, in this. Here are wooden fermenters that are used in this tank, but this sorting table is slightly different because this is a very unique system where the berries will then be divided into two little side conveyors, and these conveyors are going to drop the fruit directly into a barrel. This is Barrel fermentation for red wine, very rare, very unique in the world. We of course know barrel fermentation for great white wines and burgundies and chardonnay. But red wine fermentation, a lot of people may take the top out of the barrel and use that as a container, as a puncheon and punch down. Here the berries are individually filled into the barrels and uh, the, bar the barrel is then rotated side by side 
to make sure all the barriers are filled. They're actually, both barrels are actually on a scale and they will be continuously weighing the barrel as it's being filled by berries. We want to, I believe it's about to 400 pounds of fruit per barrel. We're now at 230 pounds in the barrel number two, which is to my right here on this sorting table. From time to time, they will put dry ice in the, um, in the barrel to keep the grapes cool so that we don't start a fermentation right away. You actually will want a pre-fermentation maceration. So here's some dry ice that's been added to cool the berries because obviously in a wooden container it is not as easy to control temperature the way it would be into a stainless steel tank. So here dry ice is aided for a slow start to the fermentation. Also pre-fermentation maceration extracts color from the skins without the as alcohol which sometimes can take uh, some of the bitterness from the seeds, hence the importance of seed maturity when you harvest the grapes. So here the berries, the Cabernet berries are fermented back and forth. This is a very slow process of uh, double sorting uh, and um, of course, only a few pounds per hour are being handled. Very slow, very labor intensive to make some of the top cabernets here in the Napa Valley. Harvest time in the Napa Valley, California, the top cabernet producer. Lots of hand care, lots of detail, small picking bins, picked very early at night, double sorting of the grapes from the clusters to the stems, and then the very rare and unique barrel fermentation for red wines.